Article 406, receptacles, cord connectors, and attachment plugs or plug caps. We go into 406.4, general requirements. A loophole regarding receptacle ratings was closed. An antiquated exception was removed. And specifics on replacing controlled receptacles are now addressed. So we start with subsection A, grounding type. Receptacles on 15 or 20 amp circuits must be of the grounding type unless they're replacing existing non-grounding type receptacles. So here in this photograph, this would not be allowed in a new installation because it's not a grounding type receptacle. However, I could remove it and replace it with another non-grounding type receptacle. We also talk about ratings in this section. Receptacles may only be used on circuits for which they are rated other than as allowed in 210.21b1 for receptacles or table 210.21b3 for multiple receptacles. So for example, in the photograph we've got a 15 amp duplex receptacle. However, you can put a 15 amp duplex receptacle on a 20 amp circuit and that's what table 210.21b3 covers. Now why can you do that? Well, the reason is this receptacle is actually probably rated not just for 125 volt 15 amp but for 250 volt 15 and 20 amp. You wouldn't be able to put a 20 amp cord connect, uh, attachment plug into this but if you look at the internal construction of this receptacle you'll notice that it actually is rated for multiple types of attachment plugs. So the plastic cover on it limits the usage to a 125 volt 15 amp cord. But when you look here at the internal components, those would accept a 125 volt 15 or 20 amp attachment plug and it would accept a 250 volt 15 or 20 amp attachment plug. So that's why you can put this receptacle on a 20 amp circuit is because the internal components are probably rated for it. We have rules for replacing receptacles. Subsection D, receptacle replacements must comply with the following requirements. AFCI or GFCI type receptacles must be installed in readily accessible locations. So if I'm replacing a receptacle that now requires GFCI protection, I would have to provide GFCI protection. But I'd have to be careful where I locate the actual test and reset button because that must be in a readily accessible location. Now that didn't change. What changed is this, subsection 4, which talks about AFCIs. If replacements are made at any location that now requires AFCI protection, the replacement must be AFCI protected by a method indicated in items 1, 2, or 3. So, where do you need AFCI protection? Well, you would go to section 210.12 in the NEC, and you would find where they're required for dwelling units or for dormitories or the guest rooms and guest suites of hotels and motels and for assisted living facilities as well. And this section is saying, look, if you remove and replace a receptacle in an area that requires AFCI protection, you need to provide AFCI protection. Now your options for providing the protection are any of these three. Number one, a listed AFCI type receptacle like we have here in the photograph. It says AFCI on it, you can remove your old receptacle, replace it with an AFCI and you've satisfied the requirement. Or option two, a receptacle protected by a listed AFCI receptacle. So in other words, if I'm replacing 10 outlets on a circuit, maybe I just put in one AFCI receptacle at the first one of the circuit and protect all the downstream ones with it. That's recognized by option two. Or option three, a receptacle that's protected by a listed combination type AFCI circuit breaker. So just replace the circuit breaker to an AFCI and then you can replace all of the receptacles as well. Item D talks about controlled receptacles. Controlled receptacles were added a couple of code cycles ago and now our removal and replacement of them is addressed too. If automatically controlled receptacles are replaced, the receptacles must have the markings required in 406.3e. So on this receptacle here, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but we have the word controlled, and we also have the controlled symbol on the receptacle. So my replacement, if I'm controlling it, would have to have those markings. And that would be like in an office building, where every night at 5 p.m. the receptacle shut off automatically to save energy, for example. I would have to replace it with one of these devices. If a receptacle that was controlled is no longer being controlled, then its replacement 
must not be marked as controlled. So you can replace it with a receptacle that no longer has those markings and you're good to go.